five reasons why Goblet of Fire is the best Harry Potter movie. Let's face it, everyone and their mother has an opinion on the Harry Potter movies. While some prefer the light and innocent nature of the first few Harry Potter films, others tend to like the darker final movies much more. However, I'm here today to discuss why the fourth film, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, is actually the best of the franchise. From its addition of new characters to fresh and exciting plot details, The Goblet of Fire takes the franchise to new heights. Hear me out and leave a comment if you agree or disagree. Either way, leave us a like or hit the subscribe button for more pop tonic content. Oh, and if this isn't obvious, spoiler warning for the Harry Potter series ahead. Number five, the Triwizard Tournament. After three films, the Harry Potter franchise needed the Triwizard Tournament. Not only did it give the film a clear narrative structure, but it added some much needed stakes to Harry's journey. Harry's mysterious entry into the tournament gave the movie serious tension, while the three distinct tasks kept the story moving forward. Plus, who doesn't love seeing a little friendly competition on screen? I know I do. In fact, I wish Hogwarts had invited more schools to partake in the Triwizard Tournament. Number four, the Yule Ball. What's better than watching awkward teenagers be awkward teenagers? Honestly, not much. While Harry Potter is a franchise that deals with real stakes, some of its best moments are actually when the stakes are very low. Yes, the Yule Ball is just a school dance, but it gave its main characters a chance to be exactly who they are, uncomfortable high schoolers. Hey, we've all been there. From Hermione deciding to take Victor Crumb as her date, to Harry and Ron wearing those terrible dress robes, the Harry Potter franchise turned into a John Hughes movie for just a minute. Number three, the Wizarding World is more than just Hogwarts. Up until the Goblet of Fire, the Wizarding World was really just condensed to what happened within Hogwarts. Yes, we got glimpses of what life was like outside of the school walls, but the Goblet of Fire was the first time we really got to see it expanded. Not only did we see the Quidditch World Cup at the beginning of the film, which was awesome, by the way, we were also introduced to other wizarding schools. It expanded the wizarding universe and showed just how big the world really is. Number two, Cedric Diggory. The Harry Potter franchise did plenty of characters dirty over the course of all eight films. Sorry, Cho. Oh, and you too, Ginny. But one that was actually done right was Cedric Diggory. While he was Harry's competition in the Triwizard Tournament, he was also his friend. Cedric was the big brother Harry needed, which made his shocking death at the end of the film that much more tragic. And though Robert Pattinson was still a young actor when he landed this role, he brought real heart and gravitas to the part. Also, Cedric and Hufflepuffs everywhere, like me, a little more street bread. Thanks for that, Cedric. And finally, number one, Voldemort is real. He Who Must Not Be Named was first introduced in the Sorcerer's Stone, but we finally get to see him as a real person in the Goblet of Fire. In fact, his appearance at the very end of the movie is legitimately terrifying and kicks off what becomes a very dark second half of the franchise. There's a clear tonal shift in the movies following Voldemort's entrance in this film, but it doesn't feel jarring. In fact, the Goblet of Fire manages to juggle several tones at once. It's clear from the start of the third task that something sinister is afoot, but as Cedric and Harry try to navigate their way through the maze, things become more and more spooky. We as viewers quickly realize the Triwizard Cup is not just a trophy, as it is actually a port key that leads Cedric and Harry to Voldemort. And while Harry ultimately survives the fight with Voldemort, and Cedric does not, it is the first time in the franchise where he's truly tested. Honestly, it's a legitimately scary scene. Plus, we finally get to see Ray Fiennes be Ray Fiennes. Also, how creepy is Peter Pettigrew? I definitely wouldn't want to be caught in some weird graveyard with those two, that's for sure. Simply put, The Goblet of Fire is the first film where Voldemort truly becomes a worthy adversary to Harry, one who has the power not to just kill people, but to completely take over the world. So, what do you think? Did I convince you that The Goblet of Fire is the best Harry Potter film? For more stories like this, make sure to subscribe and check out poptonic.com.